For the purposes of the video, we're going to be looking at three specific areas. The first being your stats, so your vigor, your faith, that sort of thing. The weapon that you're going to be using, which there is a quite small pool of Scarlet Rot weaponry in Elden Ring at the moment. And then finally, the incantations that you'll probably use. For each of you, the amount of levels that you're going to be able to put into things like Vigor, Mind, and Endurance will probably vary slightly depending on what level you currently are in the game. But at a minimum, I would say you should be reaching the soft cap for Vigor, which is level 40. For Mind, you should definitely be putting in at least level 50. And for Endurance, you should try and get to at least level 32. For Strength, Dex, and Intelligence, it very much depends on which weapon you decide to choose in this build. There are only four different weapons that have a passive rot buildup in Elden Ring, and all of them use Dex and Strength, with the exception of one that uses only Strength and Intelligence. We'll be looking at each of these weapons later on in the video, but I won't tell you exactly how to build out these levels because it'll be very specific to you and whether or not you choose to go with the Strength Intelligence weapon or the Strength and Dex weapon. I've spent a bit of time using each of the four weapons and I've found that the strength dexterity builds are the better way to go. So if you're looking to copy exactly what I've done, I will put 30 levels into strength and 30 levels into dex. As we're going to be relying quite heavily on incantations for this build, I found that level 55 is a good point to stop when it comes to fate. The reason behind stopping at level 55 is because that's the second level cap for Fate and as well as that it just stops shy of the first incantation cap in Fate. If you're unfamiliar with level capping or you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say soft cap, go over to my channel and check out the recent video that i done after patch 1.09 on the updated soft caps in Elgary. And finally the last stat that we need to be concerned with is Arcane and we're going to stick 15 levels into this as it is a requirement for some of the incantations that we're going to need for Rot. I'm going to put up the complete list of the levels that I've used personally but again they can be slightly tweaked based on whatever level your character is as I know that level 222 is quite a high level in particular for people who may have not reached New Game Plus 1 or 2. So yeah take this with a pinch of salt, tweak it to your character as it needs to be. So as I mentioned before, there's a very small pool of weapons that offer rot buildup in Elden Ring. Of the four weapons available, only one requires strength and intelligence, and that is the Rotten Crystal Staff. If you're someone who's trying to put as many levels into faith as well as intelligence, this may be a weapon for you, but for the purposes of this video, I found that it isn't the best weapon for a rot build. Of the other three weapons that offer rot build up in the game, I found that the Ansper Rapier is the best one of them all. It offers a higher passive rot build up than the Rotten Crystal Staff does, and as well as that, it is super super fast and it makes it easier when paired with the Bloodhound Step to get in and out of fights. Considering I've mentioned the Bloodhound Step, now is a good time to mention that there aren't actually any Ashes of War in the game at the moment that offer rot. I know, I was just as disappointed as you are when I found out, but hopefully with the DLC we might see the introduction of new Ashes of War, in particular one that's focused around rot buildup. For those of you who are curious about the other two weapons that offer rot in this game, it is the Rotten Staff and it is the Scorpion Stinger. Just before we get into the actual incantations that you'll be using for this build, the last thing we need to discuss is the type of seal that you'll be using for casting those incantations. There's a wide variety of seals that you can use in the game, but for me, I personally chose the God Slayer seal, and the reason being is that when you level it up enough, it then scales S in Fate. The last piece to the Rock Pie is the incantations that we're going to be using. The three incantations that you want to have in your arsenal are Etsky's Decay, Rotten Breath, and Scarlet Aeonia. Scarlet Aeonia is going to deal the most damage to enemies, but the other two will get a rot buildup going quite quickly, in particular in boss fights or even for enemies that you want to keep a slight distance from. We're almost at the end of the video now, and one of the last things that we're going to look at is the talismans that we're going to use. Now I know I forgot to mention this at the start of the video, my apologies, but the talismans are very very important to rot builds. There are three talismans that you would want to use when you're setting up your rot build. The first one being Radagon's Icon, which shortens the casting time of spells. The next would be Fateful's Canvas, which raises the potency of incantations by 4%. And lastly, the most important of them all, Kindred of Rot Exultation, which raises the attack power by 20% for 20 seconds when poisoning or rot occurs in the vicinity. As a thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video, I have a bonus item as well that will greatly help you with your rot build and that is the Mushroom Crown. The Mushroom Crown offers the exact same effect as the Kindred Talisman, 
except it stacks so you're getting double the benefit by just applying that one particular helmet. And that's everything you need to make the perfect rock build in Elden Ring. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you consider it. Maybe leave a comment. And if you've really enjoyed the video or if you'd like this type of content, please let me know in the comments. But until the next one, thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to you later.